When your franchisees see you or your operations people walk in the door and they ignore your existence, then you may have an us versus them problem. When you hold meetings with your franchisees and they resist anything that you have to offer, then you may have an us versus them problem. And when your people constantly complain that your franchisees are the problem, then you have an us versus them problem. In franchising, an us versus them problem is when the franchisor and the franchisees neither listen nor trust the other. This mentality doesn't develop overnight, and it's typically the result of a long history of missteps, mistrust, and mistakes. As a franchisor grows, the demands on the organization and the staff members increase, often dramatically. Without clear processes or standards of engagement, a franchisor can quickly enter a firefighting mode, always running to extinguish the next flare-up. An organization that is in firefighting mode is deep in the trenches, often so deep that they lose sight of what is truly important to the franchisees. The franchisor becomes focused in these cases on ways to make their hectic lives easier, flipping a once franchisee-centric company into a franchisor-centric company. And this is typically not done out of malice, but it's done to protect the staff and keep, in many cases, the company afloat. Despite the intent, the impact is real, and it can severely damage even the best of brands. I've seen fast-growing brands with great potential, good cultures, and excited franchisees fall into a downward cycle plagued with angry franchisees, falling sales, and no validation, all in the span of a few years. This change typically is the result of a franchisor's unwillingness to scale up support systems as the franchise system grows. Overtaxed operations personnel often change from very collaborative coaches to, frankly, auditors. The processes become rules of engagement and they become a compliance test. The situation often leads to the end of all franchise sales. After all, no one wants to buy into a brand when none of the franchisees have anything good to say about the franchisor. The good news is that this mentality is not inevitable and it can be corrected. Planning for franchise growth means that you anticipate the demands of your franchisees and you gauge your ability to provide franchisee support. No matter the size, a franchise system is always judged on their ability to support franchisees. Growth may be powerful, but franchisee support is what sustains. Our franchisor growth formula is designed to help a franchisor scale effectively while providing best-in-class franchisee support. We look at franchisee engagement as a critical piece of the franchising puzzle. I would love to know your thoughts and uh, experiences with the us versus them problem. Tell me what you think in the comments and thanks for watching.